everyone, welcome to this video. See you again. In the last episode, we have learned how to assemble the receiver, how to connect the electronics V controller to the flight controller and to the motor respectively. Now, in this episode, we'll learn how to bind the wires and the dumping sponge tools. These are the components and the parts we are going to use. Now, let's get started. Use the nylon zip ties to bind connecting lines with the arm. Use other zip ties to combine the connecting lines with the other arms. Patch of the easily zip ties. Insert a zip tie into the dumping sponge tube. And the point is underneath the arm to protect the frame. Find other dumping sponge tubes in the same way. Cash of the easily zip ties. Next, we are going to install the propellers onto the motors. These are the red clockwise propeller and the counter clockwise propeller. And these are the green clockwise propeller and counter clockwise propeller. First, disassemble the four bullets on the motors. Install the right counter clockwise propeller onto the number 2 motor, and then install the bullets on it. Install the right clockwise propeller onto the number 1 motor. Likewise, install the bullets on it. Then install the green counter clockwise propeller onto the number 4 motor and the green clockwise propeller on the number 3 motor. Insert the receiver into the middle part of the upper board and the bottom board. Use a nylon zip tie to bind it.
Tasha will easily save time. Measure the length of the battery with the velcro tape. Cut the velcro tape into two pieces. Place a velcro tape on the battery. And the other one on the upper board. Install the battery onto the board. Use the black binding strip to bind the battery. This is a baby gun battery indicator. Pay attention to the pins on the battery indicator. Use a nylon zip tie to bind the baby bone battery indicator and the frame. Then insert the pins on the baby bone battery indicator into the pin socket of the charging line interface of the battery. Pay attention to insert the pin socket of the charging line interface of the battery corresponding to the leftmost black power line to the cathode pin on the baby bone battery indicator and the pin socket corresponding to another black power line next to the leftmost one into the 1S pin on the baby bone battery indicator and the pin socket corresponding to the third black wire next to the right wire to the 2S pin on the baby bone battery indicator. And finally, install the pin socket corresponding to the right power line into the 3S pin on the baby bone battery indicator. Cut over easily zip side. And now we have finished all the assembly in this episode. Now go to enjoy the fire of the Samsung QV250. 